Hey, good morning, guys. It is the uh, fourth, uh, 34 days till uh, the elections. Gonna have to do a little work on the pool to get the leaves out. Sun's up. It's about 8.50, and it's maybe 64 degrees. Just doing my uh, daily uh, check. We had liquid sunshine yesterday. Rain off and on most of the days. So that would mean that... I would stay home because the roads get so hot, the oil and the uh, from the asphalt that they put on there kind of sometimes seeps to the top. And then when the water hits it, the water and the oil turn the uh, streets, some of the streets, into a slip and slide. Good morning. Is a... It's just gorgeous. I mean, I'll show you. Birds are going crazy. Families are out walking around. I did my uh, cardio walk this morning. I'm about 6,000 steps in already. Not in county. Oh, nope. 5,900 59 steps. So I told a misnomer. I got to get some. Uh, guns that are finally cleaned up. Uh, there are a lot of things that I consider are, uh, here they are, that are considered uh, perishable skills. I'll take the shotgun first. Um, in it, one of it's like I practice with the uh, boxing drills. I practice with the uh, knife. I do dry fire exercises. Um, one of the guys I think is just an awesome person to, uh, do this. I put occasionally a, a one behind the, the door just in case. I know it may seem strange, but I'd rather have it and not need it than not have it and need it because, uh, I've never been able to call time out during an oh shit moment in my life. <laughs> oh shit. So, and this is, it's, it's not expensive at all. It's a high point carving. It's nine millimeter. You, you would be surprised at how accurate this damn thing is. I got the extended, uh, 20 round, uh, magazine for it. Just got to keep them, you know, light coat of oil cleaned up, do range time quite a bit, or I'll just, uh, drive out in the desert and set some targets or bottles up and Shoot the crap out of them. I'll put this one over here. Anyways, it's not the end of the world. I'll just put this back in the closet. But I don't have anything. I'll just set it down here. I don't have anything profound to say other than uh, I think as you get older, if you stay a lighter, uh, physically lighter, uh, not like my hair color getting lighter, <laughs> but physically lighter, uh, meaning you weigh less, it's not as difficult on your joints. So um, I do at least 100 push-ups every day. Some of them are modified push-ups. I, I can only, I, I can't do as many of the Tyson push-ups as I used to. That's where you put your feet against the wall and you, it's almost like a modified bear bear crawl. I do a lot of calisthenics and that helps me with, uh, I have, um, osteoarthritis due to some of the, from physical trauma. So, and it helps me to stretch it probably as much as anything else. Stretching and calisthenics. I don't lift heavy anymore. Probably the most is 205. I'll get up to 225 maybe. And that's that's my that's that's where I, I stop. I don't uh, do lots more push-ups and, and uh, body weight exercises than I used to do when I was younger. When I was younger, I just wanted to go in and pick the fucking gym up. But that's that's not a good that's it, it's just too hard. My uh both of my wrists are kind of wonky. Elbows are wonky, shoulders are wonky. I was uh when I was trying to get into uh, Delta Force, I was taking steroids and all kinds of other stuff, but I was uh, almost gave myself a heart attack, so I had to give, give that stuff up. So 
And besides, I, I just wasn't, I wasn't good enough, uh, which is good, fine by me. I, I mean, I can at least say I tried, but uh, well, I don't, I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, I guess this is pretty rambling. <laughs> Stay safe and healthy. Uh, take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. You deserve it. You are my future. I depend on you, or I soon will need to depend on you. So if I can help you, if the advice, I'm not going to take anything, no book deal. You don't have to buy, subscribe, like, do anything else like that. I just want you to know there are some guys out there who are just trying to help. Okay? Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.